So I feel like I have some explaining to do on how I eat my eggs. So many of you commented in my previous previous videos, you were like, I, I wait. How do you eat them eggs though, yeah? Uh, so today, I'm going to give you a visual representation of what my tray does and justify how I eat the eggs. See, in a genuine kunyuta. What is news? Hey, that gave me life. <laughs> See, in a jino kunyuma, and I hate that. I love when things are level. Same as you. I don't buy a full tray of eggs. <laughs> Zitaisha too soon, too fast. I know myself, know yourself. So I just buy a little at a time and then when they are over, I take a one week or two week break and then I buy 15. The cycle continues. So as to avoid the thing from tipping over, this looks like a puzzle by the way. Um, I choose to arrange them all at the center to balance the equation. <laughs> This looks like mahjong. Who has played mahjong? <laughs> yes, yes, no, this makes sense. This makes sense. I will eat all around. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my little explanation. Simple geometry. Welcome to this week's video. Aside from the egg demonstration that I've shown you, <laughs> we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing is I'm going to spray paint the mirror a different color because y'all know I hate that pink color. <laughs> and to show you how much I hate the pink on that mirror, I decided to wear a pink dress to com to com commemorize to commemor to commemorize this day. Call it an oxymoron if you want. Um, number two, just some few rearrangements in the kitchen because some some of you gave me some few suggestions here and there. And number three is to give a detailed explanation of how I made the DIY room shop because a lot of you requested for it. So I'm here for the request. I'm here for the request. Drop them, drop them like their heart in the description box. Comment section. I just wanted it to rhyme. <sighs> But when I sit, I'm too low. So let's get on to the video. First order of business to spray that mirror, mirror on the wall. I think color. <laughs> So I've decided to open the door slightly so that fumes is to no say so fumes sana to let in fresh air when I'm doing this but I'll cover my mouth. I don't have the protective gear but we'll improvise. This channel is all about improvising. We went with a silver spray paint because I couldn't find grey. And yeah it was only 300 shillings. The power ego spray paint. Uh, yeah. So the first order of business is to protect the mirror itself. And uh, and we are going to do it. Oh, let's all say it together. Kienyeji style. Let's give it another go.
already finished. I'm just waiting for it to dry. Finished. Okay, I'm tired. I don't know if I've done a thorough job, but I'm tired. A little disclaimer. All the windows, like all six of them, they're open. I did it at the door because you're supposed to do it in a ventilated area. Sige wesa kweda inje, okay? Kuna neighbors, nahini apartment. There is fresh air for me to breathe, don't worry. Let's get to the kitchen and then do the rearrangement that I talked about. Now we come to where the heart of the home is, yes? Is that, is that the, the saying? Is that the saying? Someone in the comments mentioned that there's a potential <laughs> fire hazard and I see it. My stove is near the curtains, so hey, one slip up <laughs> and bye bye house. Bye bye heart of the home. <laughs> she actually recommended that I turn the table this other way to be on this. Whoa, change my kitchen with me video coming right up. First of all, I wanted to visualize just two planks of wood, plank A and plank B. After you have your wood, these two, um, go to your local carpenter, wherever. If you have the skills, then do it. But have drill four holes in each and every plank. And they have to be at the same same position as the other plank of wood. Then go ahead and buy a twine rope, a strong one, cut it into two, same equal length or the length that you want your DIY shelf to hang you know from the ceiling to where you want it to take your twine rope and then pass it through the first plank of wood on both sides and then depending on the length of depending on the length you want at the top of the shelf you tie off you tie off the twine rope to be secured you tie off do teachers do this teaching thing <laughs> Explaining such an easy phenomena. Here, really sweat. I sweat my brothers and sisters. <laughs> you tie off your twine rope so that it doesn't fall on the second plank of wood. And then take the take this side of the rope and pass it through this hole of this plank. And then the other side of the twine rope, pass it through this other hole of this plank. And then tie it off at the bottom. And then do the same on the other side and this will be your result i don't advocate to place heavy objects on it guy okay i hope i hope we may put here your i hope we put your and this is the result of the mirror thing that i did i think we can deduce that ivy is not a pro in spray painting <laughs> i think i was the problem here it wasn't the mirror's fault um but i don't know maybe i go in with a second layer of of spray paint Maybe something will change. I don't know. Let's let's get closer. Let's get closer, closer. And then you can see a reflection of the pink because obviously behind here, it's still pink. Yeah, I'd give myself a uh, five out of ten. Or to be honest, I think my biggest problem is this detail here. It didn't take on the spray paint well, but these co the corners, just magical, magical. They look like greek corners or something in a greek house or something but it's greek greece i just want to show you how empty the space looks without my diy shelf it looks horrible i think that shelf just pulls the whole wall to itself like oh it's 529 <laughs> 
uh, one shield is under the bed <laughs> and that's because I sleep like an octopus so I must have knocked it here and just <sharp inhale> it rolled down but in the next vlog we'll try to excavate it and that will be the end of the video today if you enjoyed it then give it a like subscribe down below if you haven't and share share this video share the videos in my channel that you find amusing or nice thank you to everyone who commented on that video and is still commenting i have read each and every comment i kid you not all 400 and something because half like if you go on that video there are 900 and something comments but half are mine because i've been responding to all comments so thank you i usually don't do this but thank you i'll see you in next week's video probably a day vlog so Bye!